What's good, Fish Range fam? We're back with another video today. I'm at a brand new pond that I'm gonna be trying out. It's a pretty nice looking pond, it's pretty big. So before this video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get straight into this video. All right, guys, so I have on a six cents lipless, I think it's the uh, Quake 70 in the bluegill spawn, and I have a Mega Bass Spark Shad in the all white color. I'm gonna be fishing this point a little bit because it's wind blown. So hopefully we could get a fish or two here. I have never thrown this Mega Bass Spark Shad in because I've oh I could cast this thing pretty far. I've never really thrown a swim bait this big before. So we're gonna see if I could get on my first pretty big swim bait bite. It's a five inch bait. It swims really good in the water. So if there's a big enough bass in here, it should definitely munch it. I think I'm gonna try to swim it right on top of these pads, or not these pads, but this grass that you can see. And maybe that could trigger a bite. I can tell there's fish in here because I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up, but there's like four beds that are right in front of me from either this last bass spawn or bluegill spawn, or I mean tilapia spawn. I just spooled this up with mono. As you guys will see in one of my videos, I almost lost my buzz bait because my backing completely snapped. So instead of doing a braid leader on little backing, I decided just to put 15 pound mono on this thing and use this pretty much mainly for uh, like top water, buzz baits, spooks and poppers and that. But since this is the only other one I had rod I had like ready, Plus I wanted a break in my line, so I just decided to throw this lipless on it. It should be fine. I'm hoping we could find some bass. I'm thinking as the sun starts going down a little more, the fishing, it will turn on more. That's how it has been the, like the previous couple of nights. All right guys, so spot one was a bust. I'm currently walking up to spot two right now. It looks really good. I don't see any no fishing signs or anything like that. So we, it looks perfectly game for me. So I do see one fowl though that looks really good. So I'm probably gonna walk down to that and then fish there first and then w my way back this way. But the first one pond was not that good. It was full of grass. I feel like it has potential, but as you saw, people keep bass and it's probably really pressured this one. There's no parking up along behind these stores or wherever I'm at. So I feel like there should be bass in this one. Let's get straight into it though. All right, so here, we're at the fountain now. I don't know if the GoPro can tell, but it has all that same weed as in that last pond all along this bank and throughout it. So I might throw a little swim jig or something, but I'm definitely gonna keep this big uh, uh, spark shed on and see if Maybe I can pull some fish out that are in this fountain that are big enough to eat this thing. I definitely saw some fish spooking off the bank more down there. But we're gonna see if we can get anything down here in this corner. All right, what I'm gonna do is, since I can see this like like this grass just under the uh, surface, I'm just gonna slowly drag this thing through that grass and see, there's gotta be bass hiding in here somewhere. And if they're hiding in anywhere in this pond, it's gotta be in this tall grass. Perfect oxygen, perfect hiding place to ambush prey. I could see my lure too. Oh, something has it. 
took it. Oh my god, my drag is so loose, guys. My drag is so loose, but I got him. I watched him take it. Oh, that's a quality bass, too, guys. Holy crap, my drag's not even set. But he ate that. There we go, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get a few pics of him in my first ever fish on this. I told you guys, too, exactly where they would be. He ate this thing, boys. He choked it. All right, I'm going to get a picture with him and then get him on his way. Let's get a release on this bad boy right here. Right in that grass, right where he should have been. All this grass is kind of... Right where he should have been, though, guys. There we go, guys. That was perfect, too. I watched him come up and just hammer that. Oh, that was sweet. My drag... I'm going to get the hook back to this thing. I'm going to show you guys exactly how loose this drag is. Ready? Look. I'm honestly surprised I was able to get that fish. Oh, I see another bass swimming right here, guys. Could this finally turn up in this corner in this tall grass? Oh, I really got the blood pumping right there. And that concludes tonight's episode, guys. Uh, sorry for it being so short, but as you guys saw, it was pretty rough. I only caught one fish. I only really wanted to throw two lures tonight. And uh, Spark Shad got it done. I'm super pumped, though, that I got my first fish on that. I've never thrown it that much. So to finally get a fish on it definitely boosted my confidence level with it. But if you've made it this far, appreciate the view. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm peacing out. I'll catch right you next time. I'm just waiting for the better days to come. I can't stay now, bitch. I'm always on a run. Heading to the